back. We're live. Five o'clock rock. Think Tech Tech Talks. I'm Jay Fidel. This is our famous annual, we should make it semi-annual, <laughs> Sony product show. And we have our favorite guys from Sony, Ted Abe. Uh, and he's the, what, global military marketing manager, is that it? Oh, sales account manager. <laughs> okay, sales account manager. And uh, Topher Schlund. And he, what's your title? Uh, professional Solutions Representative. Okay. And they have with them a whole assortment of stuff, as they always do. And they're going to tell us what's going on at Sony, what kind of new products. And uh, before that, I just want to tell you that if you have a chance um, to get hold of uh, Pacific, it's a book by Simon Winchester, who used to be at the East-West Center, wrote a book about various chapters in the development of, of the Pacific uh, Asia you know, area as we know it today. And one of the m most important chapters is like the third one in, and it's, it's about Sony. It's about the beginning, the origins of Sony as a company, and it's uh, my recollection of it as a big focus is the, the, two, the two partners, the original partners in Sony, uh, found that there were transistors being developed in Canada, and they sent some of their Sony guys to Canada to learn everything they could about, about uh, these transistors, and after a while, they came back and they, they built Sony radios with transistors. This was not too long after the war. And that, that defined Sony, mm -hmm. made Sony a, a, a world electronics leader, and uh, it, it changed the Pacific in so many ways. You can see the ripple effect of that simple, single thing of you know, go reaching out, finding out about transistors. So I urge you all to read that, that chapter in that book. You can get it on Amazon. And that's my, that's my preface to Sony. Look at Sony today. It's got everything. And we are a Sony shop, gentlemen. Thank you. That's what Thank we got. You. All our cameras are Sony. We do Sony everywhere. So let's talk about the products. Who wants to go first? Go ahead. I, I okay, will, Topher well, Schlund. I'll talk about some of our professional products. Uh, so I have in the studio uh, HXR NX5R, uh, which is your uh, bigger brother sibling to your cameras in the studio. Uh, it's the, newer, the newest camera that we have uh, that's in the commercial or uh, uh, corporate uh, uh, film environment uh -huh. um, so you know it's a 30 that's a 20 time optical zoom uh, 3 CMOS uh, uh, XMOR, uh, XMOR sensor uh, can do up to 40 times uh, digital zoom or clear uh -huh. image zoom so if you need to really zoom in there for like sports or any other products that you're uh, or other events that you're covering. Uh -huh. Also has a built-in SDI, which is a, a new addition to yeah. some of the other cameras. Yeah, SDI is very important because SDI is the professional connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And SDI cables stay put. SDI cables, I think, give you a better, longer connection with longer your switcher. Region. So this would be ideal, for example, for ThinkTech, yeah. And then also, if you needed to add more light, uh, it has a built-in LED fr at the front so you can <laughs> interview your, your cohorts. I love the way that comes out in our video. <laughs> yeah. So um, let me ask you some questions about it. Sure. It looks, uh, oh, no, it's not any heavier than our cameras. I mean, we have Z5U cameras. Um, it looks like it's, uh, looks like casing looks tougher, though. The casing is, uh, you know, I don't know, it just looks like a, a better, stronger design. Usually they have a magnesium alloy bodies inside so it's a lot more ro robust but um, yet lightweight light, but lightweight yeah, yeah it is lightweight and it got rocker bar like there's mm -hmm. a big rocker bar here on the right uh you know to zoom in and out that looks great and uh so it did move away from tapeless from i believe some of your cameras are still we're starting they are yeah. a number of our cameras are still so the tape. we don't use the tape but yeah. it's in the camera so it has, S, it has a sd two sd card slots so you can put in for solid state Oh, yeah, yeah, card, uh, photographs, all that, yep. yeah. And you can transfer your settings from to carry from one camera to the other camera and also use it for a time code if need be. Uh-huh. And what's what's the media for the movies? Um, XAVCS. It does XAVCS, AVCHD, and regular DV. Okay, and it takes two at a time? Uh, it, can, it can do two simultaneous record for backup or just use one, uh, one card. At, Hot swap. Yeah. Well, so, as long as you're not recording. To it. You can choose which, yeah. which one right, you want right, right. to. Okay. And um, you said wireless. I want to know how that works. Uh, so the wireless function, you can actually control the camera via wireless from your uh, smartphone or tablet. So you can do, you know, some, really, some app. You download an app, now you can control the camera with the app. We were talking about that before. That's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. I believe it's called the content producer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 
Okay, so with the app, you can turn it on and off. Uh, start, can, can you, yeah, start, stop, play. Um, you can control the zoom. Uh, you can control some of the functions of the camera if you need to like tune up some of the the coloring or if it's you know, white balance is out of out of whack. You, you can well, that's really useful. Really useful. And that's also, more than the old remotes could do. Yeah. yeah, and you can also use this remote, uh, the app, to stream if you wanted to. So you can stream like a live stream, uh, a show with one camera if you needed to. Well, okay, what else? Is there anything else on there we should know about? Because, you know, I'm, I'm self-interested here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it does have a Mishu on the top. Uh, Mishu is our, our multi-interface shoe, so you can put That's it... That's new. New. Uh, you can uh, add... Uh, it'll power... It, uh, it provide, gets power from the camera, so you can put a um, pow powered mic or uh, a, another bigger light, if need be, or a monitor. Mm -hmm. um, rolling into that also is uh, the MC... MXC500, which pairs with this, with with the uh, RM30BP is a remote. So the switcher and the, so they're selling this as a a la carte kind of uh, simple live streaming solution as well. So you can have the switcher, the camera with three cameras or f up to six the cameras. Whole setup. The whole setup. So you can do live switching. Uh, that's the remote. That's the remote. Yeah. So that you can do all the menu. You can white balance. You know, set your presets. You can control three cameras with one remote. So can you can you switch from the signal from one camera to another? Not no. from that. Not, Not from, from that. that. No. But that can control all yeah. three though. You can yeah. you can tell the, the with the remote it'll send a record button a record signal to all three, but it won't uh, it won't control each individual mm -hmm. one. Okay, I'm looking at the monitor. It looks different. The monitor looks pretty sophisticated. And it's maybe and it's because it's showing our picture and our picture is <laughs> <so> sophisticated. <laughs> Yeah, the, what it, the, I mean, it's a, a LCD monitor with the OLED viewfinder. Uh, it also senses your eyes, so if you're, oh, okay, if you're just connecting, you don't have to waste your battery on. Oh, just it'll a, automatically turn to the yeah. the viewer instead of the of the monitor. Yeah, how long does the battery last on this before you have to replace it? Mm, usually about three, four hours. Yeah, in our cameras, it's a long time. I'm really impressed with that. You know, you really go for a good for half a day anyway. Yeah, you can buy um, larger batteries if yeah, need be. This yeah. is just the the stock one that it comes with, so yeah, yeah. you can go up to I think six to nine hours if need be. And it takes the same the same uh, uh, configuration of battery that the the older ones do, yes. like our L five Z L series. And uh, it takes the, the same uh, adapter plug if you want to power it directly from from mm, the uh, should be yeah. yeah yeah that's very should, important should, should. because we have a lot of those. Okay. So you have HDMI out as well. Oh, HDMI. So you have the SDI, which mm -hmm. is a good one I talked about, and the HDMI, which is uh, to monitor. You know, the monitor. Oh, yeah, right. So you can play it into a monitor directly while you're filming. filming That's yeah. very cool. So you have a bigger screen to yeah. take a look at what you're filming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just put this behind the counter then. <laughs> 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 ah, beautiful. Beautiful camera. You guys are first, you know. Sony, Sony is the standard by which all broadcasters are yes, measured thank you know, you. in every, in every uh, studio in the world. Uh, okay, so that's the, what is it, the H? HX, HXR NX5R. R. HXNX5R. Yeah, just, okay. just uh, and, NX5R for sure. And, and how, many, uh, how many yen do I have to pay for that? Uh, well, list price is 36, uh, 36 49 yeah, hundred. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Three thousand six hundred forty-nine dollars. Uh, street, I believe you'll find it for under, like two, two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Okay. For per. They're camera. actually coming down, aren't they? Yes, they, they are. Yeah. I mean, it, for the amount of tech in these, I mean, it, it's a it's a reasonable, you know, yeah. price. Um, yeah. I mean, if most of the other cameras are more suited for uh, bigger productions or news or, or, or uh, more corporate higher corporate events. Yeah. Well, it's actually cheaper than what we originally paid for our uh, uh, Z5 years. Yeah. Okay, go on. Uh, so uh, getting back to the MCXC500 that pairs with this is a, a switcher that you can, it's a live switcher so you can stream live from it um, or you can go into recording into the switcher for later playback. Um, but it can control up to six cameras uh, with the paired remote. You could actually 
um, send tally signals to each of those cameras. So you know which one is live. Yeah. So it'll show a green, either green screen on the LCD monitor like this, or it'll be a white for not in use, green for in use, red for the next uh, next available so camera. Studio in a kit. Yes. Yeah. Take the whole, whole take a thing. big box with all this stuff out and do a show. Yeah. That's where we're going. Mm -hmm. Just okay. Go. What's next? And then the RM30BP is the remote that I was talking about that controls the camera. Uh, hooks everything up, send tally signals, do your white balance, zoom, control. It's just a one-stop shop. Yeah, that's what, that's where we're going. This is relatively new, isn't yes. it? Yes, it just came out. Well, the switchers start shipping in January. The cameras are sh starting to ship. Uh, they start shipping end of November. The remote, I believe, still also starts shipping in January. So when you get the remote and you get this package, I mean, is, the, is it coming in a package? No, it's all a la carte. Oh, all a la carte. So but what, what does the switcher cost? Switcher list price is 2200 so it's really reasonable um, com compared to like our other live streamer, which is considerably a lot more money. Um, the remote is about $1,000, and those are all list prices. So when they finally hit the street, you'll probably see it. You know, it's a little bit of a drop. Yeah, and the street means street price, order, yeah, you know, yeah. Internet, B &H yeah. or me. B and H, Amazon. <laughs> or you can order through me. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's tough for one. You should make a note of that. <laughs> right down the block at 55 Merchant Street, yeah. across the street, that's where you guys are. Okay, we're going to take a short break now. Okay. We're going to come back to Ted and cover some of the goodies that are on the table there in his direction. Mm -hmm. And I guess we got to cover some more of the stuff that's in, in front of Telfer, too. Oh, no, that, that's, oh, that's all Ted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right, we'll be right back. Don't, don't salivate. Yeah. It's Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Merry Christmas, everybody! Feliz Navidad! Prospero año y felicidad! I want to wish you a Merry Christmas! I want to wish you a Merry Christmas! I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Aloha, my name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome. We are co-hosts of a show called Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech Live Network series, weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We're looking forward to seeing you then. Aloha. Feliz Navidad. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas from Hibachi Talk and all of us here at Think Tech Hawaii. True. Bingo, we're back. Okay, we've covered the uh, HXNX5R camera. This one. <laughs> and some of the switches and remotes that go with the camera. Um, what else do you want to talk about? I'm Tover. Okay, Tover, Tover is done. Now we're going to go to Ted. Ted has a whole bunch of things, so you're going to have to talk fast, Ted. Sure. So I got, I'm going to talk about our consumer electronics. Um, first, I'm going to go into our action cam. And we've been, uh, Sony's been building um, action cam or POV cameras, point of view cameras, for a number of years. And this is the latest iteration of it. It's a 4K action cam. And it also has okay. does 4K, and it has a balanced optical steady shot uh, stabilization uh, system inside. Basically, what that means is that lens housing it floats. So if you shake it a little bit, you know it actually absorbs the the shakiness of it. Mm -hmm. So you get a really uh, nice steady shot. Um, this uh, sells for by itself about three hundred ninety nine dollars. But cheap. we do also have a kit with the Live View Remote Kit. So basically. All you have to do is just pair this, turn this thing on, and what it does is it automatically communicates via Bluetooth and turns this camera on as well. Once it's connected, it has a, a Wi-Fi signal, and you can use this. Um, there's a wrist strap that comes with it. You like see, a you can, big wristwatch. Right, and you can actually monitor, as you can see well, here. I can see it, yeah. Yeah. Or... Um, well, I can see the picture, yeah. Yeah, and then you can start recording from here. And once you do that, you see the lights turn on? Yeah. So whether you have it mounted in the front or behind you, like on a mountain bike, yeah. you know in which direction that it's recording because the lights are on. And then from here, I can also turn it off, and it'll, it'll turn off like that. 
What so, do you mean which direction? It can record in two directions? No, uh, what I mean is that... The tally lights. The yeah, tally so when I record... Yeah. 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 There's, there's some, some, oh, oh, I see. Some behind, one in the back, one right, on the top, one on right. the front. Yeah, so you know okay. exactly when it's recording. Yeah, oh, I see. So, you can see it no matter where you are. Right, so this is a great tool because yeah. you could buy this as a bundle. The bundle is like $549. Uh -huh. um, and like I said, it comes with different accessories that you can put on, on your wrist or um, on your mountain bike. Um, we also sell this little guy that makes it easier to control everything. And this little um, slides right in here, locks it in, and then this thing snaps right in the top here. Ah. And what we call, we call this kind of like our finger trigger uh, camera, so I can actually record from here. Very cool. Yeah. You can hold so you it steady because it's very small. Yeah. You can very see light. how it's recording right there, and yeah. I can press stop. Yeah. Oh, you've really taken that to a, a new height. Yeah. yeah, it's very convenient. And uh, so if you want to record when you're walking down the street, or if you have it mounted in your car, you can you know, record the landscape uh, on your mountain bike, etc. It's a, it's a great um, accessory. Um, you can also, uh, we also have you know, headbands, etc. Just like Put it on a headband. Right. And you have something to make it waterproof too, eh? Yes, it does come with the underwater housing, so you can actually go diving with it as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's included. Wow. On every great, camera. Great gizmo. So what about the capacity? How long does the battery last? Okay. How much footage can you get on so it? So in 4K, the battery is going to last about uh, 90 minutes. Um, it depends on the micro SD card that you put in. If you put in a 64 gig, I think you'll get uh, under three hours or so of, of 4K recording. But you'd have to switch the battery in the middle. Yes, correct. Yeah. 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 Right. Come with an adapter? I mean, can you power it directly? Uh, it, so you can. It has... Uh, a micro USB that you can actually plug in. So you can actually plug in a battery charger and actually keep it running. So if we were going, for example, to um, an event of some kind where spe right. speakers were speaking, you know, one, yeah. of, the, one of our events right. that we do, um, we could put that on a tripod. Yes. We could plug it in for continuous power. Correct. And we could take three or four hours of video with that little thing there. Now they actually, actually sell 256. Yeah. Uh, it's micro SD well, cards, it's so yeah, you can actually record it much longer. Than That's that. really interesting because you put it in your pocket, you yeah. wouldn't have to carry anything. I mean, it really is a problem if you have to carry a lot of gear to one of these events, and um, th that would, you know, that and a small tripod, a table tripod, right. you're all set. And by itself, this is actually splash proof, um, so you can actually use it as it is whether you're going skiing or whatever. But it does come, like I said, with the underwater yeah, housing. It's great for skiing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. What's it called? It's the uh, FDR X three thousand R. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing this down. S D X uh, X three thousand. Three thousand. R. R. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next. All right. So we actually don't have the actual sample with us, but basically this is the A six thousand, and we just announced the A six thousand five hundred, and it's just started to ship actually, and it has the same form factor. It's going to be um, black. Um, but it's bas it basically looks like th exactly like Except this. Except the aluminum part or the steel yeah, part. Yeah, it's going to be all black. black. Okay. And the grip is slightly reformed to make it so it's easier to hold. But um, it does have the flip-out tilt screen. Mm -hmm. okay? But the amazing thing about it is that it does have five-axis image stabilization. So whether you're moving um, in different ways, it'll stabilize the, um, the stills as well as the video. Um, it's like also, a DSLR, actually. Right, exactly. Um, and what's great about the, and this is a mirrorless camera, and what I mean by that is, you notice there's no mirror inside. Yeah. It's completely just a sensor yeah. and the lens. Yeah. What's great about this is you can actually buy third-party adapters and put, put any lens, any on, lens on there, yeah. right. Including telescopic, what have you, anything exactly. you want. Exactly, yeah. and even fr lenses from, from a long time ago, it'll work. Um, it has a, basically allows you to um, capture 4K, but it also has a uh, front LSI a chip. 4K is everywhere. Yeah, it is. It is, for, it, it is everywhere. <laughs> um, allows you to um, basically increase the buffer as you're doing 11 frames per second. So you can continuously shoot for about um, about 10 seconds worth of 11 frames of, per second of shooting. You get a lot of good shots that yes. way. If one doesn't work, then the other one will. Yeah. Right. And it also has a touch to uh, focus on the screen. So if you see something that you want to focus on, just touch the screen and it'll focus on that object Very or cool. subject. That's the latest uh, kind of yes. technology. Yes, right. So the um, question is, um, you know, when you use these, um, uh, what do you call it, conventional style cameras yes. for video, uh -huh. there's always an issue about whether the camera is, is catching up 
mm -hmm. um, whether it's fast enough to you know re refocus as it goes through the shots mm -hmm. and uh, goes through its processing um, and so forth. I mean, I've seen some that really didn't go very fast, mm -hmm. and I wonder how you deal with that here. Well, it has the world's fastest autofocusing system on there. It's like point zero five seconds. That's so very it's, important. It's very fast, whether you're shooting stills or action shots. What it, what's also great about it is it has 4D focusing, so it actually will track the subject and even predict as it's going across the sc screen and automatically focus in on that subject. And another thing is they've also um, included eye autofocus, which, which we introduced um, a few models what back. What is that? It, lo it focuses on your eyeball and locks it in. So if you're a portrait uh, photographer who takes a lot of nice portraits, right, um, sometimes the nose gets in the way and it'll focus in on nose. When yeah. you blow up the picture, you notice the eyes are blurry. Yeah. Well, the Sony um, algorithm on this, cam on this and other cameras will actually lock in on the eye. And that's what it'll focus on. I mean, on. taking a precise uh, yeah. portraiture, you need to do that because every inch of a focal plane means something. It does. Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice, what's the price on that? So that one's about 1500 mm -hmm. um, by the body itself. Can I touch it? Yes. Okay. Well, this is the, uh, the older model. Yeah, it's but, model okay, but it's, it's, still, it's, it's, it's just, just it, What's the difference between this one? This is light. Yeah, it's very it light. It feels yeah. very, very well built, but yes. it's light. Um, so what's the difference between this one and the 6500? So you got the touch autofocus screen, mm -hmm. you got the 4K recording capability, and you got the image five axis okay. image stabilization. Okay, yeah. okay wait. I got okay, And it you. does, it has that oh, buffer nice as yeah. well. Oops. So yeah, I just there took you 27 yeah. pictures. <laughs> so it's very fast. 11 frames you per guys second. Look great in the picture. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I also want to talk about these noise canceling headphones. These yeah. are called the MDR uh, 1000X. Uh, yes, uh, 1000X. They come in two colors. This is the black version. It also comes with a gray beige color. Yeah. But what's the most important, or something that's very unique on this, is that it actually analyzes the head shape of the wearer whether they wear glasses, you know, whether they have hair or no hair. And once you put it on, and, and you tried this out earlier, you press a, um, a button on here for about three seconds, and it, it starts to analyze the sound, the shape of your head. And once it does that, it, it does reduce about 99.9% .9 of and the campaign did. noise. I couldn't even hear you when yes. it, was, it was working. And, and then if you want to have sound again right. just for a moment, you just push the side. Yes, and it'll actually reverse the microphone um, system and it'll pick up the ambient noise. So let's say you're on the airplane and the flight attendant comes by and offers you drinks. Instead of taking it off all the time, all you have to do is just cover your ear <laughs> like this and it'll pick up. It's very cool. Yes. Very cool. It opens it right away. Yes. It's very fast. It's very fast. Yeah. yeah. But you know, does, does it sound different to a person like myself with no hair versus you with hair? It'll change the, um, the parameters of the sound So it the has to quality. adapt. If it I does. adapted it to myself, yes. I give it to you, then it'll have to read that to you. Yeah, and it's very fast. Smart. It only takes like less than 10 seconds to, to redo that thing. Now, it's not just cancel and self canceling, it's also, it'll get Bluetooth. Yes. It'll play your, it's wireless. You know, your, your phone or your right. any device. Yeah. Right. Your Walkman or whatever. Yes. And how much is this? So, this is uh, $399 right now. It's really first class. And it comes with a nice uh, hard shell ca carrying case and the cable. So you can actually use it as passive headphones if the batteries are, are you know, out. You can actually plug it in and still listen to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but it comes with a nice carrying case as well. Great for air travel, but also exactly. great for listening to music. Yeah, it does support high-res audio. So if you have a, like a Sony Walkman that supports high-res audio, like one of these. Now this came out late that? last year. It's a Sony Walkman. Uh -huh. And it has God, built-in Bluetooth. About Pacific in the <laughs> early day of the transistor. Look at it. Yeah, now. this is the, like the latest <laughs> versions are, and it can actually send high-res audio to the um, headphones wirelessly through Bluetooth. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah so, uh, and what is that? Is that that's not part of the same deal? That's extra. No, this is yeah, this is something separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What is that called? This is about two hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. And you can also add. It has built-in memory, thirty-two gigs of memory. We can also add like one hundred twenty-eight. Micro SD card to it as well. Thousands of songs. Yeah, yeah, right. Between the two, you can have music that, that sings. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> okay, last but not least, um, we have this guy here. This is the uh, RX, DSC RX10 Mark III. So it's the latest version. We have three, uh, two other versions of this, but this is the latest version. Um, what's unique about this type of camera is that it has a one inch sensor, 20 megapixel uh, one inch sensor, and it has a zoom range of 24 to 600 millimeters. 
So it actually has... 600? Yeah, so you That's can see that. That's high telescopic. Yeah, event. right. Usually it's about that long. Right. <laughs> So, but it does have that one inch sensor in there, so you actually can see from far away. And it has uh, image stabilization. Um, it has a fast Carl Zeiss lens to it. Uh, it's about a 2.4 all the way to a 4. Um, it takes 960 frames per second, so you can do a slow motion um, out of this camera as well. So and it does 4K. So 4K. Yep. Video, video. It sounds yes. like it's strong on video. It is very strong. It does have a mic input and a headphone jack. Uh, so you can monitor. This yes. is really important because right. a lot of DSLRs do not have that. Right. And you can't tell if you're getting good sound, which right. when you get, you get back and you find you didn't get good sound. It was a terrible waste. This way you can tell, put a headset on. Right. Put one of those uh, <coughs> self-canceling headsets on there. Right. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then you can tell what you're getting. And, and that makes it, uh, makes it broadcast quality. It does, yeah. So this is, uh, does the lens come off? No, it's this a, is fixed. It's a fixed but lens. But with that kind of lens, you yeah, wouldn't you don't, want to change it exactly. because there's so much power in it. Yeah. It does, yes. Yeah. So, this so, is... Yeah, this, so this is going to be a little more expensive than the one you showed us before. Um, yeah, so this one is going to be about, was it 1200 no, no, it's a, it's a, a fifteen hundred, I believe. Yeah, I think yeah, it's on sale right now at Best Buy for fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, okay, but this is a special camera. Yeah. This is not a run-of-the-mill camera in any way. This is this is a professional camera. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So where's Sony going these days? Where where is your, you know, focus uh, to use that term after we look at all these cameras? Yeah. Um, where, where is Sony going? What are the what are the strong technologies that, that is, it is focusing on? So um, we are focusing on sound. So we have this mantra called uh, Sound Reborn. So we're focusing on a lot of the sound products, like, like I said, like our headphones. Yeah. Uh, we do have a number of Bluetooth speakers as well. Yeah. Um, and so we're really focusing on and recapturing that market, you know, uh, of uh, portable Bluetooth speakers as well as headphones. Um, so we're taking that to next year as well. Um, we've always been focusing on TVs. Uh, we just um, started shipping our flagship TV, the Z9D series. And basically, that rivals OLED technology. Uh -huh. And what's amazing about that is um, some of the inherent uh, properties of OLED is that it's not very bright. So if you're if you have it set up in your living room, you need to you know close out close all the shades to see it properly, right? Because yeah. it, it all that ambient light does reflect onto the screen, so yeah. it kind of washes it out. Yeah. With our um, basically our master backlight system, our drive system. It actually controls it by pixel, so you get incredible contrast, but you can actually see it in broad daylight as well. So OLED technology has been touting the black levels of their TVs. Um, our technology actually does rival the blackness of OLED, but it also retains the detail within the shadows. Sometimes you get um, an image that's completely black, and you don't get all the details. Our technology will actually give you the great contrast with, along with the details. Where can I see it? Best Buy? Yes. 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 Okay. You guys are great. You know, you have great <laughs> products. You're you're leading the market. You're leading you're leading me. I tell you, and you complement each other. You know, on the one hand, is that Topher does this kind of camera, right. professional cameras, which we care a lot yeah. about, uh, and Ted does the consumer uh, type things, right. but they're also professional. I love your stuff. Just leave them all here. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't tell. You know. <laughs> I won't say a word. <laughs> Nobody knows. Thank you, Topher. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Jay. We're getting old together. I know. <laughs>